A careful balancing act for the Deputy Prime Minister as he makes his State of the Nation speech today. Winston Peters will give the address at a public meeting in Palmerston North. Political editor Jason Walls says Peters will likely make his usual jibes at political opponents in the media, but he also needs to outline what he's delivered. We're not going to see campaign mode Winston, but we're not also not going to see statesman Winston either. I think we're going to find something in between. He needs to give his base something. A Ukrainian missile attack has killed two people in western Russia and a separate drone strike set an oil refinery ablaze on the second day of an election that President Vladimir Putin has accused Ukraine of trying to disrupt. Ukraine has staged repeated strikes this week on Russian refineries. India will begin voting in phases from April 19 to elect a new parliament in the world's largest election with almost one billion people eligible to cast votes. The election pits two-term Prime Minister Narendra Modi against a bickering alliance of two dozen opposition parties. Surveys suggest a comfortable win for Modi, which would make the 73-year-old just the second Prime Minister to win a third straight term. Psychological trauma, starvation and disease are causing relentless mental harm to Gaza's children. Save the Children has released a new report revealing a downward spiral of fear, anxiety, impaired eating and sleeping as well as behaviour problems. Advocacy director Jackie Southey says parents themselves are suffering extreme trauma and distress and are struggling to maintain any sense of normal. There's barely any medical services to support physical injuries, so the mental injuries on top of those are just not being treated. Australians in the Northern Territory and Queensland and bracing for tropical cyclone Megan. Heavy rain, flash flooding and strong wind are expected as it approaches. It's expected to become a Category 3 storm by tonight before it makes landfall tomorrow. Sky's Kirsty Lloyd says the warning zone stretches hundreds of kilometres. A cyclone warning has been issued for Al Yangula in the Northern Territory through to Mornington Island in Queensland. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.